Welcome back. Mike Loosely from the Glass Bazaar joins us now in the kitchen to make banana ice cream. It might be cold outside, but really it's never, never too, too cold, cold for, for ice, cream. ice cream. Of course not. <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show again. Of course. Again. Good to see you. So I, the first thing I noticed was there's like three ingredients here, and this is just bananas? It's just bananas in here. So actually this inspired me by a friend of mine who has a lot of allergies, and so there's a lot of different things that she can eat, dairy yeah. included, gluten as well. And so... One of the things that I set out to do is give her some type of sweet treat that she would be able to have that would be easy for her to make at home. Oh, what a nice friend you are. And so and this so is a healthy option. This is too. a very healthy option for you. Okay. So what do you start with is you take uh, three bananas. Um, depending on how much banana flavor you want is mm -hmm. what the ripeness is. I like mine to have that little banana, so you want a ripe banana with that. Do they need um, to be cold? Yes, that's what I was getting to okay. next. Um, okay. You're going to cut them up into about one inch cubes and you're going to freeze them. Oh, okay. They take about four or five hours, but it's honestly best if you freeze them overnight before you do it. Okay. So when you pull it out, you're going to throw them into a food processor or a blender, whichever you have. And uh, it takes about four to five minutes uh, of this actually blending it all the way. Okay. And so you want to get it till it gets a soft serve uh, consistency. So it's going to be nice and smooth like we have right in here. Mm -hmm. And so then after that, you just kind of want to flavor it with whatever you would like. This by itself is good enough to serve on its own, but nothing's wrong with a little Nutella and peanut butter uh, to add to it. I don't it. think so. <laughs> so we're going to do yeah, a couple of tablespoons of Nutella. Oh, I love that. A couple of tablespoons of peanut butter. What else would you add to this? Um, my other favorite one to do is actually uh, take some frozen mixed berries and you throw those in there with a little Ooh, bit of vanilla good. extract as well. Yeah. That gives it nice kind of, that's a little more summer feel to it with the mixed berry. Um, mint chocolate chip you can do with some peppermint mm -hmm. extract and some uh, chocolate chips in there as well okay um, but so after you add your ingredients you're just going to want to let it puree for a couple of more minutes and then when you do it right you'll be able to serve it right out of this it'll still be cold have the consistency of soft serve or okay. if you want it to be a little bit more like re regular ice cream you just throw it back in the freezer for a couple more hours awesome and it should finish up looking like this nice and smooth that looks and great it's delicious. so does it just make one serving does it make more than one? uh it makes about two servings for okay. with two to three bananas so Perfect for you and a friend. Yep. So what else is going on at the Glass Bazaar? Uh, we're doing uh, teaching classes like every uh, every week. Um, my next one's going to be in February. I'm going to do a Valentine's themed one, of course. Oh, uh, it'll be okay. right before then. So, But uh, if you go to glassbazaar.com, you can sign up for any of the classes that they have. Good for couples. Good for couples. Good for friends who want to make some banana ice cream. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, still ahead on.